If you are someone who always tends to accept cookies upon landing on a website, then you might be putting yourself in a whole bunch of problems. In this video, I'm going to help you understand what type of cookies you should and should not accept. Because yes, there are multiple types of cookies, one of which could put you in a whole lot of danger. And after that, I'll also show you how to protect your information online from such issues. So first of all, what are cookies? Cookies are small text files that are stored on your computer or mobile device when you visit a website. They are used to remember your preferences and provide a better browsing experience. For example, cookies can remember your login information, the items you have added to your shopping cart, and your language preferences. Now cookies can be of different types. There are two main types of cookies, first party cookies and third party cookies. First party cookies are created by the website you are visiting and are used to remember your preferences and make the site easier to use. For example, a first party cookie may remember your login information or the items you have added to your shopping cart. First party cookies are generally considered safe because they are only used by the website you are visiting and do not collect your personal information. On the other hand, third party cookies are created by a website other than the one you are visiting and are used for advertising and tracking purposes. For example, a third party cookie may be used to track your online activity and show you targeted ads. Third party cookies are often considered less safe because they can be used to collect your personal information and track your online behavior across multiple websites. Now the main question, are cookies safe? Well, whether or not cookies are safe depends on the type of cookie being used. If a website is asking for your permission to use first party cookies that are necessary for the site to function properly, it is generally safe to accept them. Because first class cookies are under the control of the particular website owner. So your information will only be used in that website and it will always benefit you by giving you a good user experience while browsing through that particular website. By good user experience, I mean you won't have to manually log in every time you land into that particular website. You will usually be auto logged in because the website will store your information in the form of cookies upon your first visit and use those cookies to remember when you had last visited the website. And based on an expiration date in the cookie, you will be auto logged into the website until that expiry period is over. Similarly, in an e-commerce application, cookies also help store your card information every time you add a product to your cart, even after refreshing the page or closing the browser and visiting the page again. However, if a website is asking for your permission to use third-party cookies for advertising or tracking purposes, you may want to consider declining them or adjusting your browser settings to block third-party cookies. Because these cookies are not in control of the particular website owner, and such cookies also continuously track your activity online regardless of which website you are on. For example, if you were checking out a product in some website, and you see advertisements of that product being recommended in other websites as well, then those are because of third-party cookies you accepted. So always be careful before accepting third-party cookies, make sure to read through them thoroughly and verify whether or not it targets your personal information like phone number or email address, since these information can be sold online and put you in trouble. And if you ever enter a website that is not secured, you should never accept its cookies. Non-secured websites do not have the lock symbol beside the URL name. So what can you do to protect yourself and your information? Well firstly, if you're in a public Wi-Fi, use incognito mode. This will not save any cookie sessions or information during the time that you happen to be online. Secondly, if you like having a personalized web experience such as recommended ads, but don't want your personal information being used everywhere with these third-party brokers, then you can add a browser extension that allows you to select what information you're comfortable sharing. The Privacy Badger extension for Chrome and Firefox is quite reliable as it looks at third-party cookies and only blocks them if they are collecting unique parts of information about you. This means you can still support a particular website by not simply blocking all advertisers in their page, which is fine since that's how the website earns its living. But with this extension, you are at least able to support the website while not putting your information at risk. Now if you don't want to install any extension, then simply log into your browser setting, go to cookies and select the option that says don't use third party cookies. Simply enable that. Now lastly, if you are unsure if you already have given away too much information just by clicking on the accept button, then go into your browser, clear all your cookies and start again. This should be enough to keep you protected. So that's all for the video, if the information shared was insightful, then don't forget to like and subscribe.